We imitate. Okay? The last one about Ihsan, the issue of Ihsan. Yani one, of, one of the problems that we have with Muslims today is just is, is words, like this word Sufi. We mentioned the word Sufi and we said that yani, khalas, write on a piece of paper what the word Sufi means. It's going to be just going to find like the sort of opposite description of the word Sufi. Some of them good and some of them are just terrible. Terrible. Yani, what's the problem with a word? And why does a word render us all problematic? We're not, we're not interested necessarily in words, that's what I want to say, but we're interested in realities, realities behind terms. I, as a criterion, and we want to be intelligent people, as a criterion, if we're going to say the Suf, Sufism is wrong because of Sufis or some Sufis, then we'll also say Kalam, theology is wrong because of some theologians, and we'll say the law, Islam is wrong because of Muslims. Throw it all out, baby, bath water, the bath tub, everything, throw it all out. That's what I said. That's somebody who's, who's, who's a bit daft, bit daft. So you move beyond the terms and you look at realities. Look at reality. Ihsan, Tosawuf, Tezkiyah, whatever word you call it, is not only part of the deen, it is the deen. Full stop. It's the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what the prophets taught. Prophets teach the purification of the human soul. Every prophet, and as we come towards the end of time when the great prophet Jesus returns, he is radical upon the purification of the human spirit. It's as if he doesn't have a physical dimension, and part of his return is just to complete that aspect of his basharia, of his hu human reality. And we move towards a very, very spiritual age, and those people who are at war with a physical tail, like a tail Sufi, they will find themselves in an army of physical people called the Antichrist. That's where they will find themselves in that type of army. Because there's two types of army face themselves off. So we have to be careful. And because our tradition is very clear, as the Prophet Islam said, you have a problem with Sufism, you have a problem with Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah has an entire volume, volume 35 of his, of his fatawa called Sufism. You have a problem with Sufism, you have a problem with Ibn Taymiyyah Josiah, multiple works about Sufism with the literal term. You have a problem with Ibn Rajab al Hanbali. You have a problem with the ulama of the Shafi'i school, the Malik school, the Anif school, and the Hanbali school. You have a problem with Ahl Sunnah al Jama'ah. You even have a problem with the Shia. You have a problem with everyone, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got to get intelligent about this matter. We've got to get intelligent, Yaki. Really intelligent. We're not interested in changing. If people do things that are wrong, like Imam al Junaid Rahimullah Ta'ala, he says, Our affair, we have two witnesses. He means Sufism, if you want the term. You know, we have two witnesses, Kitab or Sunnah. That's what, we have two witnesses for every single act that we do. So if people do practices that are not from deen in the name of Sufism, then there's something wrong with the practice, but we have mercy for those who do it. We embrace them in the way we embrace any people who have strayed from the path of the Prophet himself. For deen is deen. It doesn't need my man to clarify it in the 15th century, of all centuries, to clarify what deen is, attached to the transmission.